hi guys welcome back to my channel quotes to my shen so today's girl talk topic is about people pleasing okay so stop being a people pleaser but before we get started you already know the drill don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below it is free turn the notification bell also you can get notified every single time i upload a new video i also realized that we have a couple new subscribers on the g squad so welcome 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 thank you so much for subscribing and thank you so much for watching my videos i truly truly appreciate you and if you're a returning subscriber you already know it is all love thank you so much for your love and support and yeah you guys let's get started so first of all i want to confess that i used to be a people please okay remember keyword is used to be okay because i'm no longer like that i used to be a people please i used to always put myself last i used to always do everything and anything to please others okay until i realized that like girl you are growing you are 25 years old now so you have to let go of certain habit, okay? I used to be the type of person that if I felt like me, me doing something for a friend, a family member, anybody was going to please them, even though it was inconveniencing me, I used to just go ahead and do it. Literally, I used to put myself last to please others. Even though I knew that the things I was doing for those people weren't reciprocated, I just kept making excuses for them. Maybe they cannot do this for me because of this. Maybe they cannot support me because of this. And I kept telling myself these type of things just to make excuses for those people one whole time. It was bothering me. Like the lack of, you know, support, the lack of care for me was affecting me. But I was like, all right, maybe it's because of this. I got to understand. Maybe they're going through this until like right before I turn 25, I end up like sitting down and thinking to myself, am I always gonna let people walk over me? Cause trust and believe those people know that you are letting them walk over you. And the more you let them do that, they will continue walking over you. No matter what, because you let them, right? And when you try to stop, okay? Like right now, I lost a bunch of people in my life because I tried to stop the whole walking over me thing and pleasing people, I started putting myself first and they started dropping like dead bees. Dropping, 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 dropping. So I'm saying all this to say that if you are a people pleaser, trust me, I have been there before. So I'm just here to tell you, you need to stop being a people pleaser. You need to put yourself first. And I don't care who the person is, okay? If you feel like you are doing everything and anything to please that person, to be there for that person, to be that friend. Because trust me, a lot of friends are just takers, okay? They never give. They just take, 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 take and never give. If you feel like that friend is like that or that family member is like that, don't be afraid to put a end to it. If it's a family member, don't be afraid to tell them how you feel. Because one thing about me is I used to always be giving and giving and giving to the point that, like, I was emptied. I realized that, like, I can no longer give while I'm being empty. Nobody is pouring into me, but I'm pouring into everybody else. Okay? So nobody is pouring into you, and you're pouring into everybody else. Then what happens when you get empty? You start going through depression and anxiety, all those type of things. Like, no, it's not worth it. Like, your mindset, your health is not worth it. If you are a people pleaser, if it's to a friend... I'm the type of person that I will let you know how I feel first, okay? I like to give people chances, which is not always good, like I said earlier. But I will first talk to you and tell you how I feel, how you made me feel, and see, you know, where your mindset is at. I will give you guys a quick story time here. So I used to have a group of friends, right? And when we used to have, like, meetings together of, you know, expressing our feelings, because we didn't want no one to be a hypocrite in the friendship, we used to have like meetings or sleepovers and th during the sleepovers we'll sit and talk about you know are you feeling any type of way about anything like did anyone offended you like we'll have those conversations regularly just to check in and make sure everybody was good and my complaint was always i'm always reaching out i'm always there for you guys i'm always supporting you guys like i'm doing so many things for you guys that i feel like you guys are not doing it back to me and they, they used to always be like, you know, when you do something for somebody, you should expect it back. So I kept telling them, I understand when I give, I don't expect anything back. But at least can you guys learn how to be good friends? I used to always be like, you guys are not good friends. Like, you guys need to learn how to be good friends. And it was always excuses on top of excuses. And it was just too much. And I end up understanding that, oh, maybe they're just not good for me. Which is the reason why I no longer talk to them. Like we are no longer friends. Because I end up realizing that it was always me. Always just like inviting people over. Always just like going to people's house. Like 
they were never like, oh, just let me come visit you. No. I was always like, y'all want to come over? Come over. Let me make some food. Come over. Let me buy drinks. Come over. Like, it was always me wanting to like have fun with them or, oh, what are you doing tonight? I'm stopping by. I'm coming over. Like it was always me inviting or always me going. It was never the idea to invite me over or to come visit me. You know what I'm saying? So just that alone is bad because at the end of the day, if you guys are friends, right? Y'all need to visit each other. Don't wait for the person to invite you. You know what I'm saying? Don't wait for the person to always be like, oh, come over. Or what are you doing tonight? Would you come over? Like, you know what I'm saying? It may be so little, but it is so big at the same time. So in that friendship, I ended up realizing that I was always pouring into them and they were not doing the same thing back. They used to always be like, yo, you're demanding a lot. Like, as a friendship, like, we are who we are, you are who you are, da da da. And I was like, no. But when you are friends with somebody, okay, this is for my people pleaser out there. When you are friends with somebody, okay, they need to know who you are. Just like when they're in a relationship with, with a boy or a girl, they learn the triggers, they learn what they like, what they do not like. It's the same thing. People do not understand that friendship and relationship are pretty similar. The only difference is that you guys are not sexually active, okay? Some friendships are sexually active, but you know what I'm talking about in my case. That's the only difference. You know, you guys are not doing anything sexual. But other than that, y'all need to take each other's out. Y'all need to hang out. Y'all need to see each other. Know what triggers the other person. Know what the person likes. You know, that's what it is to have a good friendship. When you have somebody in your friendship that reciprocate everything you do to them, trust me, it flows. But when you're a people pleaser and you just give, do things, please people, eventually you will get tired and that was my case so stop being a people pleaser learn how to say no learn how to um walk away from situationship friendships that you feel like are no longer no longer serving you that you feel like they are not giving you the love and care that you deserve because at the end of the day when we were younger like it was all cute and all when we were like in middle school it was cute but once you're in high school going upward you need to have quality friends not quantity because Back in the days, mind you, I used to have a lot, a lot of friends, okay? If you ask anybody that went to high school with me, they will tell you I used to have a whole lot of friends. Now, I'm sitting at less than five friends. Literally. Literally. Less than five friends. So, it's just to tell you guys that, like, it is okay to have quality friendships instead of quantity. It's not about being friends with a bunch of people, but it's about being friends with people that are actually loving and caring about you the way you are doing to them. Okay, so if you're a people pleaser, you already know what to do. You know, have a talk with the person you are pleasing or the people you feel like you are pleasing and tell them how you feel, you know. If they're judging you or feel like you are high maintenance or feel like you're demanding a lot, maybe they just shouldn't be in your life. And when it comes to family members, it's a bit tricky because you cannot just completely cut off your family. Even though I know people do that, but personally, I just cannot do that. I'll just keep you at a distance, you know. I will love you, care for you, but at a distance. I'll make sure that I'm there for you, but... Not as much as I would have been if everything was cool and great, you know, or if everything was reciprocated. So that is my advice for people pleasers. Don't forget you only live once in your life. And yeah, if someone doesn't want to be in your life or doesn't want to be there for you, don't be there for them. Like, I understand that in today's society, people are selfish, but you can also be selfish as well, okay? All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. If you're a people pleaser, you already know what to do. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Turn the notification bell on so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Comment down below if you're also a people pleaser or if you used to be a people pleaser and what you did to overcome that. Because I kind of feel like it's a mini sickness, okay? Because always wanting to please people used to be like a little sickness to me. But I'm happy that I got over it. Um, Yeah, you guys, it's never too late. It doesn't matter how old you are. You can always get over the pleasing people face so yeah you guys i love you guys so 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 much don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms instagram twitter snapchat and tiktok the link will be in the description box down below for your convenience and yeah you guys i'll catch you guys in my next one bye guys